Hey everyone, it's Connor from Coifin here. Today I want to show you how to use relative charts. It can be valuable to look at the relative performance or strength of two securities. This has a multitude of applications. So today I'm going to show you how to do that with a few examples inside of Coifin. For those who are not aware of what relative charts are, I want to give you some perspective first before we jump into the first example. Here on the Coifin G chart, you can see that I've got three securities lined up. They are funds, all from iShares. It's the Russell 1000 value growth and the regular Russell 1000 ETF. What I'm going to build here is a perspective of the relative performance of value and growth over time relative to the core ETF. So you can set up relative charts in a few ways. The first way that I'm going to show you is just from the G chart directly. So what we want to do here is take the data series picker. We're going to go select a security and first we're going to type in IWD. You can see there that this is the Russell 1000 value. We're going to put in a colon or a semicolon. I can never remember which one is which. So that's going to bridge our security and create a relative chart. And then we're going to take the parent ETF, which is IWB. So here we're taking the value relative to the regular Russell 1000. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And now what you can see pop up here is a chart. Because I have a chart template set up, I've got the historical line and the total return. For this purpose, we're just going to focus on the total return. So now we can see the relative performance of growth versus the parent index. And I'm going to go and set up the other side of that equation with growth as well. So I'm going to add a new security. I'm going to add IWF, which is the growth variant. And again, I'm going to compare that relative to the parent ETF, which is IWB. So there we go. We have two performances there, both relative. And now I'm going to make some changes to this chart just to illustrate what I want to show you. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull this back to December 31st and we're going to make the date today. So we've got a performance from 2022 onwards where our value you know, outperformed. I'm just going to do think a few things here to tweak this chart. So let's assume I'm sharing this externally or internally. What I'm going to do is grab a text box here and I'm going to type in Russell 1000 value. I'm going to change the color so that it matches up with the chart so that it's legible. And there we go. So there is the Russell 1000 value on the top. And we'll just duplicate this, drag it down and change that to growth and change the color so that it associates with the chart. So now when you look at this from the beginning of 2022, the outperformance of value stocks relative to the parent index has been washed away by a growth rebound in 2023. If you were to adjust this chart to begin in 2023, you can see that more evidently. Growth starts outperforming in 2023 and value starts plummeting. So in this example, we pretty quickly set up a perspective of relative performance of the Russell 1000 growth versus value. I'm gonna show you a few more examples now. So while you can do this in the G chart directly, you can also use the top search bar up here as well. So I'm gonna click this. And this time we're gonna take the SPY, which is the S&P ETF, we're going to put in our curl on there and we're going to type in QQQ. So already it just sets up that for me and I'll click this and we'll just take a price and volume chart. So that's just another method of pulling in that relative chart. And what we can see here, we're mapping out the SPY to QQQ relative performance on a total return basis. And just to annotate this so it's clearer again, when the chart is going down, QQQ outperforms. And when the chart goes up, it's indicating that the SPY is outperforming on a relative basis. So with that in mind, if I press this little trash can icon here and drag this out over, say, a 10 year period, we can see that the QQQ level of outperformance has been pretty drastic. When you have a relative chart set up in the security picker, you do have a range of data series that you can pick from. It's not going to be as expansive as you might be used to in the Quafin chart library, but you have various technical indicators and price level data as well like SMAs, relative strength, and price change. In theory, you can do this with anything you want. If I wanted to, for example, show the relative performance of Starbucks versus Chipotle, I could pull that up on a chart if I really wanted to see it and play around with it that way. You can also do this for macro data or any of the other data sets we have in Coifin. The third way I want to show you how to use relative charts is if you're using an individual security. So let's go to Lululemon, for example. Let's say we're looking at Lululemon in the chart. I'm going to go ahead and delete these data series here and then type in relative into the search bar. I'm going to show you the performance spread and the relative strength as well. So let's click relative strength AB. 
what we can see here is this pulls up the relative ratio, which is going to be the ratio of two prices of two securities, and it approximates the performance of going long $1 of stock A versus short $1 of stock B, with daily rebalancing to make the trade dollar neutral. In a sense, it's just $1 long and short. It's a pair trade. So I'm going to go into the settings of this Lou 11 one here. The default is the SPY, and I'm going to type in Peloton. This might be an interesting one because back a couple of years ago, there was some crossover between connected fitness and then also fitness apparel between Lululemon and Peloton. So we can see how the performance has been over time. So if we just drag this out to say a three year period, change this chart to linear. We can see that if you went long Lululemon short Peloton, you would have done pretty well over this period. Now another slightly different data series that you can use here as well. And we'll choose another security just to highlight it. Let's choose meta platforms. Let's delete these data series. We're going to type in relative again, the performance spread A takeaway B. So let's click this. You can see it's a similar setup where we're comparing it to another security. We'll keep the SPY here for now. And let's pull this across a five year period. So what this is showing is similar to relative strength, but it's slightly different. It's the performance spread of two assets. This assumes the investor is long $1 of stock A versus short $1 of stock B at the start of the chart. And then it doesn't rebalance throughout. So the previous one rebalances daily. This one does not rebalance. So over this five-year period, we can see the periods when being long, short meta SPY would have paid off when it certainly wouldn't have. And when you're back in the green in 2024. So that just about does it. I think relative charts are super powerful and one of the more underutilized chart formats in Coifin. I hope you've learned something today. As always, feel free to reach out to us at Coifin Charts over on Twitter. You can drop a comment in the comment section below or you can email our help desk, which is help at coifin.com. Thank you.